Hello everybody, it's Beard Boy OG here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we got something special. Something entirely special. Folks, we are not on the Let's Play, we're not on the modded. We are on the Unity Craft SMP. This is officially day one here on the server, and just looking around already, like, look at that. So I looked around over here already. That there is a Gladiator Stadium, which I thought was actually really, really cool. So we're going to head over here and check this sucker out. Here it is. Look at this. This is a really cool battle, uh, battleground-like thing, and I like how they use the soul... Ooh. They use the soul, uh, soil for mud. That's actually not a bad replacement for mud. Yeah, we're about to get it in the game in 1.19, but that's actually something I've never thought about doing. That is actually really a really good detail there. Okay, now that I got some items together, we're going to throw them in. I'll throw that in, a bada bing, shabang, pa pa pow, and now I need to go find some stone. The least efficient way of getting the stone, but I don't care. I, I have time. Okay, now time to upgrade to the Stone Age. Uh, there we go, now this is... Okay, it might not look like it, but I think I already know where I want to start my first base. I want to start a cave base here in this SMP. And I think we can easily get it done here. I really like how it like enters, so we can do something about this here. So it enters here, into the ocean. I thought I saw a sheep. I'm going crazy. Then it leads down to here, where we could have like wood and glass, and just dig this out, and we can have ourselves like a mini base, like almost old school Minecraft kind of, you know, alpha days kind of look. And we already have some coal, which honestly is really good right about now. So I'm going to place this down right here. We're going to craft ourselves our first torch of the series. And we're just going to light this place a little bit up so I don't get sniped by mobs. How about you go back to whence you came? Ha <laughs> ha! Nobody likes the creepy crawlies. We can even have like a staircase that leads up to here. Oh yeah. I think this is where we're going to call base. It's close to spawn, so if we have any newbies, like me, show up, I can easily go around and just chat with them, go see what they're up to, and we have a decent amount of coal, which is going to be really in handy, because we don't have much to our name at all. So I'm going to get this coal, I'm going to go grab some resources, and we're going to try, and I mean try to get this cave base underway. Okay, I seem to be placed in a little bit of a pickle. Uh, yeah, there is like 10, 20 zombies out there. Uh-oh. Wow, is just so up close and personal. Oh, you can, you can see right at my nostrils. While we're up close and personal, I might as well ask you, are you subscribed? Because if you're not, well, we have a lot of interesting content here on the channel, and I don't think you want to miss it. Our other goal is 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and if you guys could help us reach that goal, that would be wonderful. So you know what I think? I think if we use this wood, this dir dark oak log, we can use this for the outside, the outside pillars. Surround that with gr uh, glass panes or just regular glass. And then use the rest of our oak log as the inside. I think we're going to be pretty swell doing that. I think that might look pretty good. So, first, we got to get enough to get there. And I'm going to have to cut down a decent amount of trees. So, I'll be back. Okay, and we're back. We got over a stack. I'm ready to get home before the mobs show up again. And there we go. Now, we're going to leave this here. Respawn point set. Now, it's time for the next part, which is gonna be, if I can find it, there we go. We're gonna go grab some sand. We're gonna need a little bit of it, mainly for glass uh, glass panes. That's gonna be 
primarily what the outside is going to look like. So my goal with this build is that it's going to be very alpha. Minecraft alpha inspired. I do a lot of fantasy stuff over in the main Let's Play and in the modded series that just started on the channel. So I want to experiment and try to see if I can replicate the old school style in a way while also trying to modern uh, modernize it to our like modern uh, builders let's play like mindset. That's what I'm going to try to do with the with the build. So we're going to need some of this. We won't need too much. We're not going to do glass uh, blocks like you probably would have back in the day. This is going to be one of the uh, modern things. <laughs> we're going to use glass panes because that is going to be a whole lot easier for this build if we do glass panes. We're going to get so much more from a stack of sand from that. So we are almost to a stack. There we go. We might as well grab one more just to get that out of here. And yeah, somebody left their chest out here. Hmm. Okay, glass is in the furnace. Now, it is time for, oop, time for us to all get some stone. So what I'm gonna do is over here, while we're waiting for the glass to smell, I'm gonna go and work on getting cobblestone stairs and making ourselves a little staircase upward up to there. We're gonna need a decent amount of stone and I think we can get it. We have a little bit of an area here where we can start doing a little bit of a mine down, which could also just eventually just be a regular mine for us. Okay, now we have the necessary cobblestone to do what I want to do. So, some of this is going to be turned into some cobblestone stairs. We're going to need a decent amount, a really decent amount. Uh, I think getting close to a stack will be fine. Then, what we're going to need is just the good old slabs, the slabaroos, the slabtastics. We need a decent amount of slabs. And we'll keep the rest of these for when we need them. We also have some andesite, so we can use the andesite for some texture, some little detail. And we also have diorite, so we're going to use everything we can to make an interesting looking build. That is what my goal is here. Okay, my friends, we have everything we need to really get this started. We have all of the stairs, all the slabs. Now what we're going to do is bring it over to this area right there. And once we get that done, it's going to look really good. Now, it's not going to get done over in this area here yet. It's going to have to extend over later. But I want to get the stair area done while I am remembering. It is Time Lapse FM. Point of view edition. Let's get it started, my friends.
returned from Dime Lapse FM POV edition. And this is what we got. Our look really great, really good looking. I'm actually really proud of this pathway. Pathway. Yep. So this part is the best by far. We have a mixture of andesite, cobblestone, and diorite in slab and in uh stair versions we had a little bit of pathways in as well it leads to up here i am really really happy with how this ended up as it looks really good and it leads down to here to the main pathway that will lead to the base now we have so many more logs so the next part this will be the final thing i do i'm going to add fence posts they're going to be like this so we're going to have them every now and again just going up routinely as we go just so it marks our little area here and i think this is going to look really nice that is going to look good because it leads out to there it lets everybody know on the server that this is a pathway that leads down to a base and that is what we wanted to do Ooh, we got a baddie come on it's battle time enter battle mode maybe we can get some more armor from you sir come on he didn't drop armor. Well, okay now, it is base building time. So I do want to have it be mostly under these. So I'm going to go to this farthest spot here. So we should be right on it. And mind it. There we go. So that is what I'm going to do to get this part started. I'm going to go to each corner that I think we can get. And, uh, yeah, this shouldn't take me too long. After that, I'm going to work on the panes and then decorate around the areas. And we're back. So this is what I've got so far. This is not the finished design that I'm going for. I want to keep going at it. Obviously, there is some spots, like, where it's connecting to my furnace. There's, like, one more set of, like, panes we need to get, but we'll have to get those in, in the next episode or before the next episode one of the two maybe even live stream that is something that i am hoping i can get started up here on the channel very soon so yeah we got this part it's <laughs> the inside is not that good we're gonna have to decorate this we're gonna have to we have so much dirt that's gonna have to be taken out of here but for right now it is fine I think that's good for that now because we have to go so i want to turn this here specifically i want to get that part and this part mixed and i want this to be a pond so that's what's going to happen eventually there but we're going to have to wait for that we got quite a while before we can start work on that part of the project but look at that oh yay it's looking good, boys. It is looking good. Okay, so I need one there, one there, and one there. There we go. Now we can just bone meal it up, make it look a little bit nicer. A little bit overgrown, because this is kind of what I'm going for, is the overgrown cave look. And I think we can get that done. So this side, once again, we're not going to mess with. It is currently still under construction. But this part is coming together very nicely. We have gotten a lot done today for really just the first episode. This all episode one here. That's what this is. So there we go. So it leads up here. We might as well go down there and make a sign to let people know that this is the Beard Boy base. Look at this. Look at the third person view, which I don't actually use that much. But look how nice this is starting to look. And this is just episode one. This is just episode one. And look at that. Eventually, we'll have this looking great. Ow. Where? I thought I had lights up in here. Just for for once. Woo! Anyway, we can move swiftly along. We got a, we got a lot of places to cover, and I gotta go soon, so... <laughs> For a second, it sounded like you are about to go, uh, Llama. <laughs> which would suck, yeah. which might mean... If you're turning Llama, is the watering trader around you? Oh, God, because... no. Because... Hey, 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 hey
Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> now, now listen here, you <laughs> fat tub of lard. <laughs> if, if you love food so much, why don't you walk into the liquid beans? Uh, no, no! I do not want to pick you up again. It's not happening. Oh, I lost my sword. Oh well, <laughs> I can craft another inch of stone. I picked it up. <laughs> anyway, I can do better with crits on that. Jaro's gonna wonder why, why there are suddenly dirt pillars. Nobody explain. Now, they have a huge sprawling estate. They called it Lakeshire, part of the Cupcake Mafia. It's a whole thing. If you hear no blocks, that's hey. just the map. Pugs is big on bees. I forget why, because I'm old and I'm going senile. Do you like jazz? And then if you I follow me over here, beautiful. we have two more and we'll finish the western side. Careful not to bang your head on the lantern. Ow! Okay. <laughs> oh, when you put it like that, wise guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did, did you just. Giggity sees. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> I'm seeding my chicken. This is Emu Dwagon's place. Emu decided to build a base around a mountain. So, basically, I respect. There it. is. Yeah, yeah. This is an altar to where Emu pushed Gyro off. Up right here. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't remember where the. The main hut is. I think Emu just did some total refabrication. No, I'm gonna keep. Just, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Why? Because I was about to make a Star Wars reference, but I don't want to get clowned on when I make the wrong reference. Oh, I love Spock. He's my favorite. Probably come to this photo with, with me. Man, I love it when Luke snaps his fingers and half the universe just disintegrates. Wasn't Obi Wan a helpful puff or something? I heard that he heard. What happened to Joe? Who's Joe? Get ready, comments. <laughs> now, now's the point in the Joe? video. All right. Well, this is Lexi Cutable's base. We got a little thing over here, a little thing over here. Yeah, it's it's a big, massive thing. And this is something that Lexi is doing over here, which is why she is going to be a big customer of King of the Ocean, because she is going to buy, I believe, thousands of sea lanterns. <laughs> Oh, I'm just the wrong just place. the villager, just right there. Yeah. Not creepy at all. That's Kevin. I'll rescue you, Kevin. I'll come back for Don't you. Don't rescue Kevin. He's done bad things. Like what? I refuse to elaborate. I'll, ba I'll be back for you, Kevin. <laughs> actually, wait. I think it was. I think that was actually the female villager, Candace. Do you remember Candace? Wait, hey, wasn't she the one who died from Ligma? I think she got Ligma at Sawcon. Sawcon, huh? Well... Yeah. Weirdly... Oh, son of a... Just get it over with. <laughs> Ligma... I, I have time for one more tour maximum. If you want, we can tour through the, through the eastern half in another session. If not, I can tour you through mine. But I, I gotta go after, after one more. What? That is not what I want to talk about. Do you want to see my actual main base? Well, do ya? No. Do ya? Yeah. All right, follow me. Here we go past the chicken. I was pit. trying to do the head nod, like yes, and I think you just completely missed it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at how five star this is. You even have your own honeycomb. Oh, and I'm getting all yeah. smeared now. Yeah, I've decided that I'm not going to have an actual house until I have my final base. I don't get a starter house. I have instead decided to invest more into... Crypto? The base. Well, actually, if, if you look up here, you'll see a perimeter of dirt. That is the perimeter for my base. Now, I'm currently in the process of digging out even more of this mountain that I had to flatten so that I can get nice terrain. <laughs> and that's it. Actually, it's not it. 
because I have things that I did build. See, I have complicated estates, so to speak. So, I'll take them in order of... Actually, I'll show them to you in the order, I guess, the reverse order that I built them. Whatever. Sure. Yeah, we'll do it. <clears throat> Sliding them on du, in. Du, du. <laughs> yeah, it's all me in. We got ourselves a big hole in the ground. And oh, if you look oh. in the hole in the ground, it is, it's a squid farm, which means that I've had to drain every other water block within a 128 block radius of this place. Yay! And there was an underwater cave right there. Yay! Yikes. Let's move on so I don't get like a PTSD attack. Follow me down here. Would you like a bone? Want a bone? Um, BPG. No shit. Beer boy, do you want a bone? Uh, uh. At you least ask. <laughs> at least ask me out to dinner first. Like, jeez. All right. Well, if you're gonna be so picky about it. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? I don't care how picky you are. I'm taking you to the bone zone anyway. Come with me to the bone zone. <laughs> Because no one bones alone. <laughs> Welcome to the bone zone. Your, oh, yeah. your source for all you bone them, and you bone keep them based in the needs. Yes, I do. Found me a little spawner at the bottom of the big hole. This is him, officer. Open up. <laughs> Good. Well, this is the first thing that I built on the server. I did it within, I want to say, five days of actually starting the thing, or of starting the server. This is the reason why I make any money on this server at all, why I have any diamonds. Only person with a guardian farm. Man, it would just suck for somebody else to find one and completely ruin your industry. Oh, I'd like to see them try. Or is it the I miss I miss my I miss my respiration three helmet from my other series already. <laughs> I already it miss it. Oh yeah, there's twenty three. Look at that. All right, and uh, I'm gonna say you know what? That's about it. What do you think of your two of Complicator Estates? Give it five stars. I give it cool. a cooked chicken. You give it one cooked chicken. I'm so th I'm I'm so thrilled. Actually, you want to go down there and sleep in that bed? Go down and sleep in the bed. I'll I'll go down. Don't be. I'll come down with you if you get lonely. How about that? Here, just come sleep in the bed. I I don't want you to get stuck all the way on the other side of the plant. Uh, is my assassin? Uh, am I gonna be assassinated? Is this what you're planning? Nah. Okay. Put that in the quote book or quote book in the notebook. <laughs> what, nah? Somebody is planning my assassination. <laughs> like I said. Ah! Look up. <laughs> it's over, big boy. I have the high ground. You underestimate my power! So, guys. You know what would be quite funny? If we put my own head on a stake. Right in front of my house. Wouldn't that be hilarious? <laughs> well, <laughs> there was the first first actual collab on this channel. I don't think I've had anybody else that I've ever talked to on this YouTube channel. So you guys got to see something new. And I've I, I was murdered. Is it canon? Okay. Maybe he should have not have gave me these. Because I'm about to go deforest to forest. Ooh, look! Flowers that I can steal. Mine, 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 money, mine, money, money, money. If I don't go and edit Mr. Krabs' face onto mine whilst yelling money, 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 publicly comment in the comments, you're a terrible fry cook. Because it's going to be funny and YouTube will not know what is happening. Okay, I was able to come back from that. We got a lot of lilacs, a lot of poppies, a lot of dandelions, and a lot of lilies of the valley. With a lot of oak leaves, which 
I have figured out what I want to do with this for the top to make it look better. I'm going to have just oak leaves hanging down the side because I think that's going to look good. Okay, can I get on that without destroying it? Good. What I'm going to try to do is just have it hang down if you know what I mean. Oop. If you know what I mean. Come on. Just like that. And we're going to try to do that for every spot going that way so it looks like it's overgrown. So this here is how the build finished. We have all these leaves going down from the top here, which if I can show you up here, you can see that they're somewhat connected to the top, making it look like it's overgrown from up there on those trees. And we got that all the way around, and I'm really happy with it. The only place where we didn't get it was right here. I need to go get more leaves for that. Honestly, I want to do that in the next episode. I've done, I've done a lot of recording for this episode. But if you guys enjoyed today's first ever episode here on the Unity Craft SMP, I would consider subscribing. We're on the goal of 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and we can easily hit that goal if each person who watches this video presses the red button down below. Consider liking the video, because liking always helps. And comment down below SMP to let me know that you watched this entire video. I'm Beard Boy OG, and I'll see you guys in episode 2 of Unity Craft.